Alright guys, we got a CISA lock. This one again is from Kerpish, but I don't think this one is one of his custom pinned jobs. There's no K on it anywhere, any indication that he's custom pinned it. I and mean, that's probably because these Spanish locks are usually pinned pretty well. Uh, it does have a key, and this is another reason he probably didn't bother custom pinning it, because this thing's quite, quite a challenging bidding on it. But let's see if we can pick it. There we go. All right, I'm going to try to use a gem. I'm going to go all the way to the rear, apply a little tension, light tension at first, and we're just going to start working our way out. Okay, got a little bit of a fault set there. That was pin four, I believe. Okay, uh, feedback on pin one, that was pretty easy. Now I'm moving to the back. I'm on pin four, I got a little bit of feedback. I don't think he's quite ready. Okay, I'm moving back out. It is, it's pin four, got a little feedback. I still am hesitant, but he's got some good feedback. Let's go ahead and give him a little nudge and see what he does. If I can get on him. There we go. I think that set him. Okay, I'm moving out. Check in. Feels like three. Let me double check. Maybe somebody before that. Yeah, it's pin one was brushing against the shaft. So let's set him. There we go. And then go to the back again. There's got to be at least one more. Feels like three. If I can get on him, yes. Pin three. Okay. Looks like now we dropped somebody. Uh, we lost our fault set. There we go. We got it back. That was pin five that had dropped. Pin one again. There we go. Kind of a gatekeeper there. And pin four. One more time. If I can get on him. There we go. Got a good deep fault set now. Pin three. Come on, baby. Pin one again. And there we go. Open. CISA. Five pin. You see, there's a lot of security pins in this thing. In fact, we're only at uh, three minutes. Let's gut it. Why not? If you've seen it before, you can end now. Oops. And I get to use my new pliers from Kerpish. Again, I can't thank you enough, sir. This allows me to save these C-clips and recycle them. Makes life so much easier. No pinched skin. Okay, we do have a split tail shaft and we don't want to align that like this because then those top pins will fall into that groove and make a mess of things. So I learned that lesson the hard way. We're going to set it offset just a little bit like that. And then we're going to use, looks like the medium. And there we go. Okay, nothing special about the core. Let me zoom out so we can get it to focus here. Nothing special, no counter milling, no threading, nothing. So this definitely is not crepitious work. And the first one is a spool. 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 And I'd be willing to bet it's a spool. 
No, it's not. It's a barrel pin. Pretty interesting. All right, fellas, up close. Here's what we're looking at inside of this CESA rim cylinder. We got five normal key pins or standard key pins. We got four spools and then we got this barrel in position number five. All right, Kerpish, thank you, sir, for the lock. I will pin it up with some incredible magic on the inside before I pass it on to the next guy. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal. Thanks, guys.